low and you're feeling particularly down, does running help you? Uh, well, it does by the end of it because the endorphins have kicked in. Yeah. <laughs> um, but getting out of the house is hard. It's, it's hard. really hard. Yeah, I mean, I can relate to that. And I think any runner, even people that don't have kind of like suffer from depression or mental health problems, can, can relate to yeah, that. Yeah, because well. the first couple, five kilometres, uh, yeah. the other legs feel like wood. And, yeah, and those yeah. like the first three to five, for me, it's about 3k. Two to three k, but I'm not running the distances that you're running now. Yeah, yes. so last weekend we were happy up to about 50, 50 kilometers, and then things began to fall apart slightly. Um, but that was uh, that what was goes, it was mental. That what whole goes thing. through your mind when you're running that distance, um, and you get into that stage in the race where it's all about mental? It was totally mental. Mm -hmm. um, I don't even know how to which is great. Um, our son stopped 86, which was really hard. It was like leaving your baby lion cub uh, wounded and walking away and just hoping that he would find his way back by himself. Oh, um, how, how can you pull down the too much pain? Yeah. I think age really helps when you're doing an ultra because you've had some pain in your life mm. and you can bear it a bit more. That's interesting that, because I was thinking yesterday, and I wrote it down, and let me see if I can find it. Um, tell me what you think of this. Um, this is an analogy about life. Life is like an ultra marathon. It starts off well, but the longer you go, the longer you are exposed to elements. The longer on your feet, the more challenging it is, um, and the more mentally challenging it becomes. You, would you say that's true? I've never been as happy as I am now. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm really excited. My birthday is when I'm 55. And I'm really excited to be 55. I'm excited to be 60. I am going to be the best version of myself. And better than I have ever been before. Excellent. So what is that is just exciting. I'm excited to wake up every morning. I have no idea what opportunity is going to happen any day, who I'm going to bump into, who I'm going to come across. Um, so for me, now is my time. Amazing. So why is it your time now? What's changed in your life? I feel more confident now. I, I'm sure that the, the modelling, uh, so I was, I was found through my daughter and then I was uh, flown to London and I was given the job of this. Um, so take us back, when was your first job? Last year, 2018, January. January 2018. Yeah. And you. So I, I was working at the company in England, mm -hmm. and they saw a picture of me and liked it. So they flew me to England, and they wanted to proceed. So I was in their campaign, which was in British Vogue eight times in one year. Wow. So that was my first job. Oh my god. So that did help, I have to say, give me some confidence. Uh, but I did come back here and thought maybe somebody would be interested in me, but they weren't. Um, so it's taken some taken some work. I had negative thoughts and thought, well, that was it. But it was the best day of my life, so it didn't really matter if that was it. But so you kind of thought maybe it was, I was just a one hit one day. Exactly. wasn't going to go any further. Exactly. Than that. But now, having had a mentor and speaking to people, I am the only one of me. So, and you are the only one of you. You have to be the best version of yourself and shine. And when you walk into a room, shoulders back, stand tall, whatever the feelings are inside, you just gotta hustle. Tell me about your mentor and, and, and the impact that that's had on you. Um, yes, it was Kelly Lundberg, the stylist. Um, okay. I'm a big stylist here. So we weren't really on the same page as far as uh, her career and, and my career other than mm -hmm. some fashion um, knowledge on my part, a little and a lot on hers. Um, and we would meet uh, every week and we would, you know, she'd give me questions to, to fill out. And so it was a lot of soul searching through the exercises she gave me. Um, I had to realise that I am the only one of me and um, that I can be whatever I want to be, even though I'm 55. Mm -hmm. So that's all I want.
things start to pick up for you? When did people start when I to make the decision? decision? That's when it changed. Same because I came back and, and nobody was... I just assumed, because I'd been a British folk, um, that somebody might have seen me and they want me for their campaign. But it, that didn't work like that. And then I went into the nobody does grey in Dubai because they don't. Um, and certainly nobody models uh, 50, uh, 55 here, 54, 55. So I did the, it's not going to work, I'm in the wrong place, and then, and then negative thoughts. And then through Kelly's help, I have my sheet of paper next to my toothbrush. And I'll, I'm earning X amount a month, and I'm meeting incredible people, and uh, I'm in demand, and I'm very grateful and thankful for everything that the universe has given me every morning, every night. Um, and my vision board. So you had a vision board, you yeah. do affirmations yeah. every single day. Yeah. And I truly believe in those things. Yeah, me too. Do you still do your affirmations? Oh, yes. I've changed them because I uh, ticked a few things off my, uh, my list, which is great. Mm -hmm. Where do you see yourself in five years in terms of the modeling? I would hope that I will continue because I love it. I It's all new to me and I love walking in and not knowing what they're going to do to me. Uh, makeup wise or, or fashion, um, the, the inspiration that the, that the stylists have. So I hope I will be in demand more. I hope that I will still be looking my best. I don't hope, I will be. Um, so there's no reason that I shouldn't just keep moving forward and you do have to hustle don't you, in whatever career you have. Um, yeah, you yeah, do one hundred percent. You you have to put some. You yeah. have to get yourself out there. You do, and, and make yourself that seen. seen. That I've noticed that like you're quite prevalent on social media, on Instagram, and yeah. Facebook. That is a huge platform, actually. Uh, Facebook and I do so much, but um, Instagram has has helped me because people write to me and say that I have helped them, and if I can help anybody not sit on the sofa and just wait for life to happen and just get up and do something about it because hopefully i've got 50 years left on the planet so why wouldn't i do something about that mm -hmm. look i think life's all about being flexible and being open to change mm -hmm. which is obviously and opportunities and opportunity yeah mm -hmm. which is is what you're doing like you've embraced Kind of the social media and, and you're doing what you need to be doing and to get my children and they say google it now <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't help very much so i have to learn